Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Battlezone. I'm Corporal Cabreros, and if you recall, last time, some asshole named Arkin decided to steal one of our Fury Relics. In an effort to track down this traitor, we've managed to discover a CCA base on Jupiter's moon Europa. However, instead of going in guns blazing this time around, we're going to do a little bit of Ricky Recon and be sneaky like the snake. Let's do this. After Arkin made off with the alien relic, we spread the fleet to comb the nearby CCA bases. The freedom went to Ganymede and the liberty to Callisto. Finally, we found a CCA outpost on Europa and planned to infiltrate their base and tap their communications tower. It was our most stealthy mission. We had to sneak in unnoticed. Soviets are transmitting data from a secret communication tower located somewhere on Europa. Included in the data transmission is the whereabouts of the stolen Fury Relic. We need to intercept that transmission before it ends. Your heads up clock indicates how much time is left before the transmission is complete and your objective is lost. Here are your orders. Just north of you is a Soviet checkpoint tower. You'll find a patrol ship passes by this checkpoint at regular intervals. You are to head there on foot. Take out a CCA pilot as he comes in using your sniper rifle and commandeer his vehicle. The commander, you'll need to keep a low profile or risk giving yourself away. Once you've acquired a Soviet vehicle, we'll issue you further instructions. Good luck, Grizzly One. As General Collins said, this is going to be a completely stealth mission. This is actually probably one of my favorite missions in the game because it is so much more different than everything else. We're going to go ahead and park our grizzly tank right out here outside the checkpoint path route that the CCA scout will take. We're going to use it as bait, because as soon as that CCA scout knows we're here, he's going to chew us up pretty good. Better he shoots at the grizzly than me. Friends, you won't mind if I borrow that, will ya? No? Thanks! Good, Commander. But we're just getting started. Now, pay attention. To keep from drawing attention to yourself, you must complete this ship's patrol route. First, you must find this turret repair and supply hangar. Secondly, you must go to this mobile unit factory. Finally, must find these scrap silos. There are two checkpoint towers that will help you locate these structures. Identify them using the I key, and they will activate nav cameras that will show you the way. After you've completed the patrol route, waste no time locating that communication tower. To intercept the transmission, you need only stay close to the tower for a few seconds. Your onboard computer will do the rest. Once you've got the transmission, Back to the drop zone at Nav 1. Now go, Commander. As General Collins pointed out, this is one of the two checkpoint towers in this mission. This first one does not provide us with much information. Simply tells us where the second checkpoint tower is. But once we head out over there, we'll be able to find out where we have to go on our scouting route. You just saw me briefly use the sight camera there. It's interesting. It can be helpful. It allows us to see through solid objects, but at the same time, it's not that helpful because of the draw distances. I will use it a few times in this mission, but not terribly much. Now, you may be wondering what happened to the HUD marker for the second checkpoint tower. Well, as soon as you get a certain distance away from the checkpoint towers, those navigational points they provide you with disappear. This is troublesome, because it can be very easy to get lost on this map. Unless you can memorize each point of the patrol route that you have to take, you're going to have to come back to the second checkpoint tower each time. And remember, we have to do these in a specific order. If we do them out of order, we could alert the CCA to our presence and that we are not who we appear to be. That is bad. We don't want to do that.
just a moment, we'll be coming up on the first stop in our patrol group. This is Checkpoint 2 reporting. All clear, Omega 1. Well, there's one down. Now we just gotta go find the other two. Now the astute of you might notice that the map in the lower left of my HUD has changed. You can do this by hitting the caps lock key. Instead of providing you with the standard three-dimensional topographical map, it provides you with a map overview of all explored areas. This is extremely helpful in locating different structures on this map, even though it might be a little small and hard to see at times. The next place we need to visit on our patrol route is the Unit Factory. This is going to be important because we're going to need this information later on. Memorize its location. Now as far as I know, apart from visiting each of these patrol points out of order is the only way to actually alert the enemy to your presence, other than firing on them. But we're not going to do that, because we don't have a death wish, and we only got 14 minutes to accomplish our objective. This is Checkpoint 3 reporting. All clear, Omega 1. Well, that's two down. Now all I gotta do is find those storage silos. The good news is all of these structures are actually pretty close together. You play through this mission a few times, you really figure out where everything's at, and it becomes very easy to go in between everything. Of course, it doesn't stop my happy ass from getting lost every now and again. You really do have more than enough time to actually accomplish your objective and escape. So there's really no point not to go ahead and continue to return to Checkpoint Tower 2. Especially since it does help you out. Hey, little donut there. Out of the way, jerk ass! Huh. Don't be wrong. Europa's kinda cool looking, but um... Or does this thing have a radio? Oh yeah, here it is. Yeah, I think that's enough of that shit. Alright, now if I can just remember where the hell I'm going. Oh yeah, the silos, that's it. Gotta go there now. Checkpoint 4 reporting, all clear, Omega-1. Alright, well that's everything off the patrol route. Now it's just time to go get that communications tower. Now we've passed by it several times, and it's actually fairly easy to spot on the radar. It's a small cluster inside of a much bigger volcanic-y thing. I, I don't really know. It's, it's in there, though, and we're going to go over there, and we're going to sit by it, and they're going to yell at us.
did I mention it's easy to get lost in this map? Yeah, got turned around there for a moment, but I'm okay now. I know where we're going. Let's do it. Scout, you have checked in out of order. Return to your post. Initiating communication uplink. Uh, yet, comrade. I don't know what you're talking about. I, I did all my patrol route in order. Fuck, I'm not doing that voice this whole fucking time. Omega One, you have checked in out of order and are wasting time. Explain yourself. I'm, I'm just stopping off for a piss break, man. Uh, give me a few, all right? Data interception complete. Communication uplink terminated. Excellent work, Commander. Now get back to Nav 1 as fast as you can. Omega 1, identify yourself immediately. Uh, he, uh here's my identification. Blowy Blowy, take that. Okay, I'm out of here. Okay, fuck this. I'm out. I'm out. Morning. As you can see, for some reason, Unit as I float through uh, space pre flight, I. Uh, don't know why that happens, no matter what, even if you do everything in order, they still shoot at you. Um, so now I'm kind of, uh, ah uh, shit, those are bad guys. Uh, I'm kind of on my own. I no longer have a vehicle and I have to run my happy ass back to my own grizzly to get the hell out of here. Oh, that's gonna suck. Uh, let's blip on the radar. What the fuck is that? Oh, good. It's just a scavenger. Alright, yeah, well, he ain't gonna hurt me. Uh, don't think you have to worry about him reporting your position either, so... It's just a scavy. They don't pay much attention to the troops on the ground. However, if you still do get encountered by any of the CCA patrols, they will fucking kill you. So, uh, don't. Well, it's only a two-kilometer run back to the drop zone. That's not going to be boring at all. Well, the alternative is that I could be constantly getting shot at. So I, I think I'll take the boring alternative. Yeah, boring Boring is good in this case. We want boring. Gotta channel the sneaky snake. Sneaky. Snake. I'm a sneaky snake. Sneak, sneak, snake. Slither. The snake. Slink, slink, slink. Slink, slink, snake? Slink, snake? What the fuck? Screw it. Even still, pays to keep your head in a swivel. You don't want to get snuck up on by anybody. Because as a pilot out of a vehicle, your radar range is severely limited. And most of the time, you won't see them until they're right on top of you. At least if you were paying attention, you can try and snipe them out of their vehicle and steal the goddamn thing. Carjack their motherfucking ass. Sneaky. Like a snake. Yes. Snake. Sneaky snake. Now you'd think I'd be able to just, like, jump into the atmosphere and float all the way back to my grizzly tank, seeing as this is Europa, and I don't even know how much gravity it has of Earth's. But, no. Gravity's pretty consistent between all the different moons and planets that you encounter, so... Unfortunately, no 3,000 meter long jumps.
All right, we're in the home stretch. All right, there it is. Ah, the sweet, sweet grizzly. Mm. Let's get in that bitch and get the hell out of here. One quick perimeter check, and uh, yeah, I think we're good to go. Come to Papa, baby. Looks like we managed to find out where the CCA fleet and where they're going and where they're moving to. We're going to have to go to Titan eventually, but before that, we've got one more thing to take care of here. See you next time.